The focus of my research is identification technology. Um, that can mean uh, identifying humans by their unique traits. We call those biometrics. Uh, specifically, what you typically think of as a biometric is your face, your fingerprint, and your iris image. These are traits that you can physically see, but I'm interested in molecular traits that you may not be able to easily see, that you would need a special type of sensor technology to monitor or measure. The problem that my research intends to solve is if, if you can measure a unique molecular signature, how do you take advantage of that to identify a person or chemical and biological agents that may be harmful to humans as well. The benefits of my research are to uh, enable that to happen quickly and more accurately. The problem isn't necessarily that there are a lot of ways to detect these types of things. There are a lot of ways to detect these, except they exist in the laboratory. If you want to do it in the field and you want to do it quickly, there needs to be new types of technology that, that, are, that are low cost, low power, that can be operated by semi-untrained individuals to go out in the field and collect samples and perform these identification activities uh, in the field. I hope to accomplish that goal in two ways. One way is to develop new types of sensor hardware uh, using some novel nanofabrication and nanotechnology techniques to make highly sensitive and selective sensor elements. But oftentimes when you make these instruments smaller and you speed up some of the processes, you take shortcuts to make the, uh, the signals appear faster. It creates a little bit of noise in the signal. So the other part of it is applying signal processing techniques to pull out useful information from what may be a noisy signal. So you have the sensor piece as well as the signal processing piece that have to work together. I think what makes my research different is it truly requires an interdisciplinary team to lead those types of efforts as well as students that are willing to step outside of the box and learn about some things that they may not have learned in their major course of study. And from what I'm hearing from industry partners that I've worked with in the past, they really like the fact that the students coming through this type of program are, are getting a broader education than they might not get otherwise.